Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 19th through the 25th of June, 2022. I do hope you guys had a great weekend. I am going to take a quick second, like I usually do, to remind everyone that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with everyone. If that is your situation, I encourage you to check your other signs and placements and see if those readings may resonate better. Also keep in mind that in a general reading that the energies can reverse or flip-flop. Uh, tarot picks up on energies, so that's really not that uncommon. If it is resonating with you, just place yourself in the reading where you belong. If you are um, wanting a personal reading, I would be happy to help you with that. And that can be found in, the information can be found in the small box beneath this video. So let's get started, guys. Spirit, can I have the energy of Pisces? Pisces. All right, you're starting out with the Eight of Swords reversed. You have the Page of Pentacles reversed. And you have the King of Wands. Okay, so Pisces, I feel like there is a... Um, there's an offer here that either didn't come through or maybe communication even. Um, it didn't come through, but you're not worried about it. You have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. I think in the past you would have been very worried about it. It would have just played on your mind. Um, it could even just be communication, but you're realizing that it's not as big of a deal as you had thought. And I do feel that you're kind of freeing yourself from that energy you um you've kind of kept yourself tied up in in some anxiety for a while and you've made a decision here you're not going to do that any longer so i see you freeing yourself from that and i also see you unwilling to to communicate with somebody um yeah even even like in a small way um some of you may have experienced a small loss in finances um and also, I'm seeing with the King of Wands that there's some action here that you're taking. I do feel like you're kind of taking charge of something here in your life. Um, some of you are, you know, moving forward with um, some project that you are, are very, um, very uh, enthusiastic about. Um, perhaps some of you are starting a business or doing a side business, but there's something here you're taking action on. You're really kind of encompassing um, a very strong energy. And so I feel that um, it's, a, it's a strong leadership type of energy. That may be what is also keeping you, you know, from all this concern and worry that you may have experienced in the past. It's a shift in your energies. Um, let me see. Let me see who is in your energy. Spirit, who is in the energy of Pisces? It's almost like you're saying, Pisces, I just don't have time for all this anxiety or worry. And so you've decided to just you know, embark on something else. Okay, so whoever is in your energy is not, um, they don't like to give up information. All right, you have the Six of Cups, or they have Six of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Cups in reverse. All right, so this could be a soulmate. Um, it is a very sweet energy. I am gonna, I am gonna say that um, this is somebody that, on a a spiritual level, um, possibly even a physical level, they they have a very sweet energy towards you, a very giving energy. Um, at times <laughs> and I have to say at times because this person is deeply concerned about stability um, 
financial stability in particular. They have two fours and fours are always about stability. So financially, I do feel that this person is kind of, um, they might be like holding on to their money um, because it's, the four of pentacles is in the upright. And I'm not gonna say they're greedy, but I'm, I, I feel like they're so concerned about stability that they're like holding on to every dime. Um, yeah, there, there's a, a sense of them just kind of being um, like holding on to things and it's solely because they don't want to face instability. Um, I also feel like they're facing it whether they like it or not. Um, this is somebody who may have ignored you in the past. They may have, you know, acted as if you were unimportant, disrespected you. And if that's the case, I do feel that they are kind of, you know, giving a giving you more attention now. They're kind of turning around and saying, hey, I miss my Pisces. I, I'm, I'm not going to ignore my Pisces any longer. So, and they may also be seeing that you are doing something over here like you're bossing up with this King of Wands energy. And that's that might be get, grabbing their attention a little bit, too. So, let's see what the energy of this connection is. All right, we have the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So, the two of you are kind of looking at this connection a little differently. Um... With the Knight of Wands, there's something here that you're embarking on that is you're very passionate about. I'm seeing it in two places. Now, it's showing up as the energy of the connection. I'm not sure it is. I, I feel almost like you are, you're embarking on your own beginning because these are separated. Um, Whenever I ask for the energy of the connection and I get two cards instead of one, it tells me that either the parties are focused on their own journey or they're seeing the connection very differently. In this case, Pisces, it almost feels to me like you're really focused on a new beginning of some sort that you're very, very passionate about. Um, that's for some of you. For others, though, I do feel that you do want a new beginning with this person. Um, they do have feelings for you in any case. Now, their energy is one that they're withholding. They're withholding emotion. They're not going to come forward and, you know, bring the love, bring the emotions. They just are not going to do it. At least that's what's on their mind. That's what they're thinking. And so, but they are more focused, um, if, they're more focused on the connection than you are. Unless you are wanting to have a new beginning with them. So I'm seeing two timelines. And so like some of you do want a new beginning with this person and they're withholding emotions. But others, you're very focused on something else. Something, um, something else. It doesn't feel like a person. It feels like um, an endeavor of some sort. Uh, let's see what's affecting this connection. And if for those of you that are embarking on something, you're, this person has noticed. So what's affecting the connection is the King of Cups. So both of you do have feelings for each other. Um, you, you're feeling a bit of a, a loss. You're still processing loss in this connection. They're still holding on to you. They see you as stability. Yeah, they do. They see you as stability. You're, you feel that this is, you're processing loss. Um, and I don't feel like you're willing to discuss something with this person. There's something you don't want to talk to this person about. But both of you definitely still have feelings for each other. Um, let's see your outcome. Um, either religion or spirituality may be affecting this connection as well. It has something to do with this. 
it affects how how one or both of you approach the love in this connection. Page of Cups. Mm, page of Cups. So in your outcome, I do see that there is going to be some form of um, connection here. That's a very small token of love. It's um, It could be an apology. It could be um, just a very small, like, little text. But it's a beginning. Um, it's something small. And that's what I see happening towards the end. Because there definitely is still emotion here. Um, bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups also speaks to soulmate energy. And it, it speaks to, um, you know, a very strong soulmate connection. That's what's underlying this reading. All right, so let's go ahead now and we are going to clarify. Spirit, why is the Eight of Swords here? In reverse. Wow. There's that Ace of Wands again. All right, so King of Swords. That's um, air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the Ace of Wands. So some of you are missing the physical connection that you had with um, a, with the, the person. Um, others of you are, are basically, um, you're being very non-emotional. You're trying to leave emotions out of it. Um, and you may be saying, you may be telling people that you're not worried about this. You don't, you're not, um, you're not thinking about it. You're not worrying about it. But I do think that some of you do want a, a connection with this person. Um, others of you though are cutting, cutting out the, um, the worry and the concern because you are so focused on a, a endeavor. I'm, I'm telling you, I see two very clear um, groups of, of you, you guys, you Pisces. One of you really wants to be back with this person and you really want to reconnect. But you're being non-emotional about it and you're not wanting to admit it. The other group really doesn't care. I mean, it's not that you don't care. That's not really the right way to say it. You're, you're just not going to be bound to the anxiety that you once felt because you are leaving emotion out of it and you're moving towards a endeavor that it, you're passionate about. And that's where your focus is. Whereas their focus is still more on the connection. Why is the page of pentacles in reverse? Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords reversed. So if you've had losses um, from walking away from a connection or walking away from um, a job or walking away from something and it's caused you a loss, um, there's an indication here not to worry about that because you're showing up here as the nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles is, you know, somebody who on their own, you know, is very prosperous and really doing well on their own. It's a card of independence. So there may, you may feel a small loss from whatever it is that you're walking away from. For some of you, it's literally a, a job or a physical thing in order for you to begin something new. There, and, and you are, you, as you walk away, you are going to experience a small loss, but you will wind up fine. You're going to wind up fine. You're going to wind up independently um, doing well. So... I also see, um, for those of you that have walked away from a connection, that you are still processing that loss, 
but I see you more and more getting over that. There's less of the anxiety, there's less of the crying, less of the um, feeling, you know, upset or staying up all night. And you're moving more and more towards your own independence and you're looking good doing it too. Um, because the Nine of Pentacles is like a glow up card. So you are looking good doing it and you are likely you know, catching the eye of other people. So, but still, still feeling that loss a little bit as well. Um, why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here? All right, we have Temperance in Reverse and the Hangman. Yeah, so, with whatever you're embarking on, it, it's taken you a long time to do this. It may have been on your mind for quite some time. Um, I do feel like it's leaving you feeling a bit imbalanced emotionally. But I do also see you determined to take action. There's a determination in this card because you have waited a long time. Um... I also see that there's still a need for healing. There's still a need for healing and there's a, you know, a need to look at things differently from something that you have been going through that, that whatever you're healing from, whatever it is that you need to heal from is what you need to look at differently. You need to have a new perspective on it. And that's concrete action that you can take that will help you to heal. Um, yeah, I, I see that there's a sense of imbalance though. Nevertheless, there's determination and I see you taking action. All right, let's look at their energy. Why is the Six of Cups here? They think about you a lot but they refuse to acknowledge it or come forward. And they actually, when they're thinking about you, it is in a positive way. Um, two of Swords and the Ten of Wands reversed. They do want to resolve the problems, um, but there's a decision here that they need to make. There's a decision they're putting off. And it might be whether or not to resolve things between the two of you. Um, so on the one hand, they want to resolve everything. They want to solve the problems. On the other hand, they're being stubborn. There's a stubborn energy here that they're not going to come forward, even though they have feelings for you. They won't, they won't be the one to come forward. They're, they're refusing. So that's their decision here. They do think about you a lot, though. And they're very focused on the connection. Um, but they're trying to be non-emotional. is to guard their heart. They're protecting their own heart. So that's their decision. But they're refusing to come forward. Um, why is the Four of Pentacles here? They could be having some financial difficulties. Um, both of you might be, actually, a little bit. Queen of Cups, and there you are. Yes, they are holding on to you. And the Three of Swords reversed. Now, you could be dealing with another water sign. That would be a another Pisces like yourself or Scorpio or Cancer. Um, but I really think that for most of you that this is your energy. It, it's just indicating that they really are very focused on you. Um, they know that you are that you have feelings for them and that you, even though you have feelings, you're not just going to give your love to them, that you're being very choosy about that. Um, there's also an acknowledgement here that you, um, they feel that you're very perceptive, um, you know, that you're very intuitive. Um, they have been hurt very deeply 
and that is also, and they're holding on to that, that pain a little bit. Um, I do think they're healing though. There's a sense here of healing and I do feel that they're very focused on you. They, they, um, they have feelings for you. <laughs> they just refuse. There's a stubborn energy. So I think they're healing. And I also think they would like to heal the connection with you. They're definitely holding on to you. Why is the Four of Cups in reverse? They may have um, ignored you in the past or tried to act like they were. But they're not, they're not going to be able to maintain that. All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Their stability has been shaken. They do see you as stability. That is part of the reason they're holding on to you. Um, and trust me, Pisces, as you become more independent, they know, they're noticing that. They definitely are noticing that. Um, but they're also noticing that, they're also noticing when you're imbalanced. They, they can see that. They can sense it. They can feel it. So they're seeing that as well. Um, now, with the Four of Cups in the reverse, I do feel that they, I see the ending here, and I see that they basically ignored you. They treated you like you, you were not important. Some of them outright disrespected you. However, um, what they really want is something long-term with you. They see that they a lot of them see that their money is also tied up with you. So, they've lost a sense of stability, and money is involved in that, but it's not just money. But they, they definitely do feel that things are more stable financially with you than without you. So, that's part of it. But it's also that they feel stable with you. So, I do think that they're regretting this ending here. They have regrets with this ending. Um, and I do think that they are, they're wanting to, to have something long-term. If they acted like they were ignoring you, they're going to reverse that. They're going to, they're going to certainly act like they're noticing you. It's this stubborn energy. They just don't want to bring it forward. They don't want to come forward. It makes them feel like they're chasing you and they don't want to chase you. Now, you could be dealing with an earth sign. That would be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Let's look at the energy of the connection. All right, we have the Five of Swords reversed. We have the Queen of Wands. You're coming out with a lot of fire sign energy, too, which is not the typical for you. Um, so, yeah, I do see that if there's been any conflict in the connection, that conflict is going to end um, if it hasn't already. Somebody was in a lot of ego, and that's going to be dropped. Um, again, I see this passionate energy. Um, for some of you, it's towards this person. And for others, it is towards an endeavor. Some of you, it may even be both. But definitely the conflict is going to end. There's something here you're very passionate about. I do see you taking action towards something you're passionate about. Um, and I also see you making every effort not to have conflict with this person. Now, on their side, they also don't want conflict just because they don't like conflict. Um, but they are still very focused on how things ended. And that is what is keeping them from wanting to come forward in, and basically offer that love. They don't want to look like they're chasing you. Um, again, I'm seeing that some of them are having some instability with regard to finances. But 
they're focused on the end of this connection. Why is the King of Cups here? They're trying to decide, are they going to, you know, focus on resolving the problems or focus on, you know, how things ended? And I think they just can't decide. They, they go back and forth. All right, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, and we have Justice. So there's karma written all over this. I mean, both of those are karmic cards, um, but they're both in the upright, and they're clarifying the love in this connection. There is something with regard to religion or spirituality that is affecting the love in this connection, and it's also karmically based. So I do see um, for some of you that in divine timing, justice is going to be served um, with regard to the love and the connection. I also see, um, and I, I see it going in a positive way, things balancing out. Um, I definitely see that. In the meantime, what I'm seeing is that you, on your side, it's the wheel of fortune. So Karmically, things are going to go in a positive direction for you. I do see you being very independent and strong, Pisces. I see things going very well for you. Um, and that will affect the connection. For the person that you are connected to, there is more of a energy of focusing on the ending, wanting to fix it, but won't. A little bit of stubborn energy. And so I do think that they're trying to find balance in their life. Um, they're really trying to find balance. And I think that uh, they want a balanced connection, a balanced love. Sign of Libra, by the way. But this is what's affecting the connection. So this is a, the love and the connection is karmically based. It's also a soulmate connection. Um, for a lot of you, this is definitely a more of a um, soulmate, a deep soulmate or a twin flame type connection. I'm really surprised I don't see the emperor or the empress out um, because we have all the other cards. But it's definitely, there is something karmically and, you know, a deep soulmate connection here. And in divine timing, it is going to balance out with regard to love and however the religious or spiritual aspect is that's affecting the connection. Now, let's look at, let's look at the outcome. So we have the Six of Swords, we have the Page of Swords in the reverse, and we have the Tower. Okay, I'm going to pull one more for each side because I don't want to leave anybody hanging. Hermit and the Two of Coins. All right, so I do see that there is going to be some kind of a, a communication of some sort with the Page of Cups. It's going to be very small, but tender. Um, it, it's going to be a positive, right? However, it will lead to both parties kind of trying to move forward. Now, I... I would like to say move forward together, but I'm not seeing that. And the reason I'm saying this is because you have the Page of Swords on your side, which does indicate to me that there's something here that you're keeping to yourself, you're not talking about, and you, you're likely not going to be talking with this person. They have the tower, so it's going to cause a tower moment for them. It's going gonna, it's gonna to really shake up their foundation. And we can already see that they're noticing you, that they want to come forward, that they're still very focused on you. So whatever this communication is, 
and then the, the resulting moving forward, I do feel it's going to be independently, at least for now, because it's going to cause a tower moment for them. And I don't see you wanting to talk to them. Um, however, you have the hermit, which means it's not going to be forever because you will isolate yourself. You will do a lot of soul searching. And then I feel that you will, in time, you will have things that you want to say. After their tower moment, it's going to leave them pretty imbalanced, but... I do see a decision. They're still at that decision-making um, phase, and I do see them actually coming out and finally making a decision. It's going to take the two of you moving forward in your own individual ways, and somehow it's going to be it's going to be caused by this very small, um, sincere communication or gesture that's going to spur this and it's just going to, it's st something that starts small, but it's going to lead to both of you moving forward independently. I, I don't think it's going to be forever though. I really don't. Bottom of the deck is the seven of wands in the reverse. And what that tells me is that while this is a soulmate connection, um, I don't see you willing to fight for it or them willing to fight for it at this time. But remember, in the center of your reading, we have that this there's a karmic balancing that is going to occur within divine timing. And it is related to the love in this connection that is being affected by either religion or spiritual aspects. So do keep that in mind. All right, I am going to pull from the Romance Angels, and I will see if there's any further messages. We have passion and you definitely have passion on your side of this board um, it says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy we also have codependency and it's on their side it says um, addictions are affecting your romantic life and <laughs> I hate to tell you this, but I, I'm telling you, and this goes towards, this goes in the middle. This goes towards the, um, the connection itself. And I, I know it's not going to be in the short term, but long, long term, I'm seeing that there's going to be this karmic balancing. It says, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So like I said, um, there is going to be this period where you're not even going to talk with them. It's going to cause a tower moment. They're going to be making some decisions, but then I do see you coming back and, you know, basically having some things to say. Um, it's the center of the reading that really pulls the most of my attention. All right. I hope this has been helpful for you, Pisces. If you would like and share the video. Um, also, if this has resonated with you at all, um, I hope you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate that. And if you would like to drop a comment, please feel free to do so. I do actually read all of them. Until I see you in next week's reading, namaste.